I can't even tell if I'm live now. This is how often I stream. Hang on, I'm not even centered. What the fuck is this? Now, I don't know where the fucking cinema snob is, but... He ain't here. I didn't see his review, because I don't watch reviews before I go see a fucking movie. No, I'm not feeling better. I feel like shit. I've been fucking... Last four days, I've been... I literally shit seven pounds of my body weight out. I fucking threw it up in the toilet. That's how I'm doing. I go see this fucking movie. Lisa Foils is breaking my balls now. What do I gotta do? Am I the only guy alive didn't like this fucking movie? How can you not like They Live? At least she saw it. I, no, 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 okay. Seriously. Before you guys, I see you guys right here. Like right here. Before you guys... Before you guys get in this chat room and say, Oh, Spoonie's just gonna start trolling on us. Spoonie, he just wants to call us a bunch of assholes. Spoonie thinks he knows so much. You know what? I fucking saw They Live. I've seen movies that make Cabin in the Woods look like fucking crap in comparison. I've seen shit you people wouldn't believe. So, until you've seen half the shit I've seen, fuck off. Okay, don't even fucking talk to me. Because you don't know shit. You don't know fucking shit. Don't even like, oh, Joss Whedon is some kind of fucking prophet or something like that. Wes Craven did what this movie did twice. Twice. He did Wes Craven's New Nightmare, and he did fucking Scream. Both were better, and I even fucking like Scream. No, 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 no. Scream is way better than this. And Scream sucked. Scream is overrated. I'm with you. And it was better than this. New Nightmare is fucking genius. How was Scream better? At, okay, at least Scream told a coherent plot from beginning to end. It actually picked a tone and stuck with it? How's that? Cabin in the Woods didn't manage to do any of that. It had slapstick comedy over here. It had stupid office comedy over here. It had fucking Sam... Like, wannabe Sam Raimi levels of gore over here, and then there's like some kind of HP Lovecraft plot knocking on the door over here that, oh, we're suddenly supposed to take fucking seriously. Fuck this movie. Fuck you. You can't just do that. You can't... You can't just drop the fucking kickstand on your slapstick comedy movie 95% of the way through, and then go, yeah, but seriously, we're fucked. Like, you... He wants. To, he thinks he's some kind of Terry Gilliam in Brazil kind of shit, where like he can tell like a satire, where there's like an underpinning of dread, you know, where there's like he wants to kind of do this banality of evil type thing. And by the way, if you don't even know what that is, leave the fucking chat room right now. But like 
he wants to be some kind of like multi-layered storyteller, and he just doesn't have the tools that a writer would normally have to tell that kind of story. Can't I just have fun with a movie? Yes! I can have fun with a movie. I can indeed. I can have fun with a good movie. What, what the fuck does that even mean? Can't you have fun with a movie? I have fun with tons of fucking movies. You fucking Visigoth. Hang on a second. Apparently I'm echoing. I don't know why I'm echoing. See, now, now you guys are bringing up moments from the movie that you're going to get into spoilers, and I pretty... Uh, so if you saw the trailer, you pretty much have had it all spoiled for you already. But one moment does not make a movie. The moment you're talking about, it was funny, but it's not like, oh shit, I gotta take three hours out of my life and 9.50 to go see that shit. Fucking go to YouTube. It's not a must-see movie. It's not even a kind of wanna-see movie. It's just poorly told. And 10 year, 15 years too late. No, you can't get my thoughts on a couple specific scenes because I'm talking about the movie as a whole. Sure, there were some movies... Like, any movie usually has a scene that was worth watching. But that's not the point. The point is it's a completely ineffective horror movie, and it's a, it's really not... It's If you're even going in terms of it being a comedy or a satire, it's not even, like, broaching new material here. It's not even, like... It's not even, not even like, cliched material. This is material that's been so done over, over and over and over and over and over again, that this, even joking about this shit was cliched in the 80s! In the 80s, people were making jokes like this. Guess what? There were stereotype characters in horror movies. Welcome to Friday the 13th, assholes! 1984 people were talking about this shit. Joss Whedon has suddenly realized there's fucking stereotypes in horror movies. Oh my god! You're amazing, Joss Whedon. You figured this all out already! Really? He makes a movie about horror stereotypes in a horror movie, and all of a sudden, like, ah, ha, 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 that's so clever. There are stoners in horror movies. That chick was slutty. And yeah, they usually do show their boobies in the movie. What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> Have you not seen a horror movie since 1986? people sicken me.
What was the last actual good horror movie? That has nothing to... I can tell you. But that has nothing to do with what's going on here. I just don't... I, I see this. I see this fucking... Like, almost... Like, circle jerky praise going on for this fucking movie. And I was really... I went in there one to like this movie. I was like, this movie looks fucking awesome. It looks like it's kind of playing with some, uh, it looks like it's playing with some stereotypes and it's look, it looks like it's playing with the, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, the genre, you know, it's, it's playing with the, with the, um, paradigm, the paradigm of horror movies and it, 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 yeah, conventions and shit like that. And it doesn't, it doesn't do anything that hasn't been tackled by much better directors and authors many times before. Spoonie, stop acting like you're right and everyone else is wrong. I am right! <laughs> How am I wrong? How am I wrong? I gotta hear this. I'll wait. I, no, I'm, I'm waiting. To, somebody says I, I have the superior attitude, and I'm wrong. How am I wrong? Yeah, it's going too fast. Like, even if you say something, I'm not going to catch it. I'm not seeing shit. She's got nothing. Where Spoonie's wrong is that he thinks we're wrong for having a for different opinion. This is not a matter of opinion. It's it's not a matter of opinion. I'm telling you why this. <laughs> am I uh, am I wrong? Is this opinion that? Oh my god. <laughs> that this movie is derivative? In no way toys with conventions that haven't been toyed with a thousand times before. I, I, I'm actually offering you... I'm actually offering you factual comparisons to far better movies. When most of the praise that's been heaped on this movie is that it's some kind of, like, daring original contravention of horror movie conventions and it's just not in any way and that's not a matter of opinion no 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 no, no. okay yado kingu don't don't even make this about how nothing is original anymore do not go joseph campbell on me okay asshole don't even start with that Dude, by the way, yes, I've read Joseph Campbell, and you probably haven't. Shut the fuck up! In fact, I probably... You don't even know who Joseph Campbell fucking is. Yes, Miles is back there. He's very patiently dealing with my bullshit right now. Who the fuck is in here? Oh, wow. I don't know what he's eating. What are you eating? Peanut butter M&M's. Peanut butter M&M's. Pretty good. Sprite. And a Sprite. No, I saw a lockout. He saw a lockout.
He said uh, he said not to bring him into it, so I'm not going to. Hang on a second. I need to. Uh... I gotta add, add some people. Oreo is eating right now. Don't bother her. I didn't see Brad's or Red Letter Media's review on I don't watch reviews before I go see a movie. The commercials pretty much destroy the movie, but they, they, the, the entire movie is based almost entirely. It, it's Really, they bill it as a horror movie, and it's a comedy. It's a straight-up comedy. And it's just not even that well done as a comedy. It's just a complete failure on every level. can play with the doggy later. Chat room's kind of stalling on me. There's so many comments getting loaded. Oh, man. know how to put it in slow mode and I don't really care You don't actually want me to go on my Dr. Horrible rant. You really don't. No, because... <laughs> no, you don't. No, because it gets into spoilers of virtually, like, everything the guy's ever done, and I'm just not going to go there. I just, I just, it, uh, seriously, for those of you who think he can do no wrong, I got... I don't even know how to classify it. <laughs> There's that. Miles said dollhouse, but... Uh, <laughs> no, I got, I got three in a hyphenated word for you. X-Men and fucking uh, Alien Resurrection, okay? Oh, fuck you, Dollhouse was good.
And here it comes. How X-Men wasn't his fault. Here it comes. I know. I've heard it. I think Cabin in the Woods would have been interesting as like a, a, a 60 minute uh, like Twilight Zone episode or something like that. Um, you know, I've actually seen a honestly a not very good series on HBO called Masters of Horror that it, it might have been a better episode as that. It was just kind of short and inoffensive. But. No, my contention is not that it was overhyped, overblown, and that soured it for me. My contention is that the movie sucks balls. Hang on. Oreo! Yes, I called you. Want to be on... Want to be on live stream? I can't have her do a trick, because she's got to be looking right at me. Ah! What am I doing? She's kind of on the prowl for snacks. I don't think she's very interested in being here. Here we go. Yeah, she wants to do other stuff. She wants to play ball. She has ball. I'm going to see if I can scroll up here and see what uh, people are saying. Oh, thank God I didn't see John Carter. The shit I heard about that movie. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to go because I have said my piece on Cabin in the Woods and I have once again, for the fourth straight time, kicked all your asses. I kick your asses even when I'm wrong. That's how sad you guys are. Although, by the way, I still am not letting Mass Effect 3 go. No, because my point still stands that it doesn't matter if the ending of Mass Effect 3 was, was bad, because I choose, I pick how Mass Effect 3 ends. You know, it, it matters how I say it ends. It doesn't matter what fucking Bioware has to say about it. I, if 
I don't like the ending, fuck it, you know? <laughs> it doesn't invalidate the series or some shit. So even if even if my even if the official take on the ending was wrong, my take on it is still correct because it's mine. What if I Jofa, what the fuck? What have I What have I yet to beat you at? Jofo, you only live as long as I allow it. Yeah, okay, so Bioware confirmed the ending is canon and it sucks. Okay. That's sad. So what? I don't care. <laughs> Guess what? I just wrote a new ending. It's way better. See how mad I got over that? Man, that, that, that ending sucked ass. How am I a villain? Or a jerk? Why ruler of time? I don't understand. What makes me a bad guy about this? No, really, what makes me a bad guy? Just because I don't, just because I don't wrap my opinion in fucking bows and, and flowers and don't politically correct the shit out of it, does that make me a bad guy? Shit, I wish more people told it like it was. You do kind of hate on people who disagree with you. Yeah, because I'm right. <laughs> it's pretty narrow-minded. Well, it is tough always being right, but... I have the luxury of always being right. So, there's really not much wiggle room in that department, because otherwise I would be wrong. So, I think I'll stay right. Welcome to the conversation. An hour too late! I'm gonna mod Nash, because he amuses me.
Avengers, yay or nay? I haven't seen the movie. What do you, I don't, what, what, what? All right, I'll play. When have I ever been wrong? This I gotta see. It's taking a minute to load. The chat has well and firmly locked up. Oh well. Ah! Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword? Fuck you! I was more right about that than anything I've ever been in my life! Tron Legacy, I was right about that. Brodus Clay, I was right about that. Jesus Christ. No, seriously, Skyward Sword? I'm actually... People are actually coming over to my way of thinking on that one. Because that game is so fucking bland. That game is so fucking bland and warmed over and unoriginal. Even, like, hardcore fans are like, Jesus Christ, can't we do anything new with this? I was right then. I'm double right now. And I got hate for... No, 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 I got hate for that. Hate fucking thermonuclear war hate. And guess who was right? Pfft. Double winning. Yes, I've played it. Lieutenant? No, you're getting kicked. Kicked. Ah, hold still. There, you're kicked. Bad Lieutenant was awesome. That was so wrong, your ass is out of my room. How about you're dirty parted in the middle like a psycho mullet? You're gonna have to do harder than try harder than that. Way harder, dude. You didn't like fucking call me a Nazi or call me the N word or anything. Nash does not have a point. I don't even know what he said and he doesn't have he never has a point. I know he's here.
I do love the people who just ask me, like, random shit. Like, do you like Skyrim? I like how J.O. is now just taking flack for all the Zelda games now. How did I lose so much weight? I was on a toilet for three straight days shitting my guts out. No, no, I did not enjoy it. Nash, I will shove that stupid hair of yours right up your ass and tie a ponytail through your fucking nostrils. Kicking Nash. You didn't know I could do that shit, did you? I'm just reading the chat. Who's yelling at me? Seriously, Nash, get a fucking haircut. No, you... This? Gorgeous, okay? That right there... Power. You do not hate on the hair. Guild Wars 2 is not even out yet! Fucking dolt! It's, it's literally not possible to troll me over something that doesn't exist. Asshole. 
Not even trying. I'm tired of talking to you. Where's my dog? Oreo! Come here. Come here. There we go. Hello. Hello. going she, she has some like she has a serious agenda today I don't know what's up with her Yes, she is offended by the negativity you guys are sending my way on the internet. She, does, she wants no part of it. And like that, I will also leave you for the fourth time. Your ass is kicked. Peace!